Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making Sophie shorts. First, you're going to want to open up your files and get to the design you want. Today I'll be using the Chanel logo. I then hit OK and I size it how I want it to be. Size it here, it's a little small, so I'm making it a tiny bit bigger since it will be the main focal point on these shorts. You're then going to want to mirror your image, which you hit object, and then you hit mirror. You flip horizontally, but honestly, I didn't really have to do it for this since it was the same design either way. You're then going to want to trace your image, so you're going to hit trace, and you're going to take the little arrow and kind of just cover the whole design here. I kind of messed up, but... You're then going to make sure that you have the right paper. I was using glitter paper for this one, so I was hitting... Heat transfer, and then glitter. After you set the paper, you then want to go and look at your blade. For this, I'm using an auto blade. I'm going to use a ratchet blade, sorry, because it needs to cut a little bit deeper. I then open my device, and I turn it on. You're then going to want to put your USB into the computer if your device is not wireless. And I'm going to put my glitter paper onto the mat so that I can then load it into the machine. And so I put the paper down, I then make sure it's flat, and I get it all set up so that I am able to load it. I then hit load. After I hit load, I am then going to send the design to my device. I send it as it is, and then I wait for the machine to start cutting. As the machine cuts, I wait. Then it is time to unload. It says job complete and I hit the unload button. I then begin peeling my paper as I want to be able to get the design off thoroughly and carefully so I do not rip anything. Here I am peeling and peeling away until I get to the end of the design. After peeling, I then turn on my iron so that it is nice and warm and ready for me to go. I then go and I place my design where I want it to be on the shorts. Since it's a focal point, I want it to be on the left side. Once I see that my iron is ready, I then go and I take my heat and I press it onto the design very slowly and carefully until I notice that it is time to take it off. Once it's taken enough heat, I then carefully, carefully start peeling the transfer paper away from the design. And here you have your final product. I'm really happy with the way that these came out, and it's probably one of my best works yet. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and please continue to watch our channel. Thank you.